Hi guys, welcome to Filament PHP series and in this episode we are going to cover how to create migration and models so later we can create the resource based on it and we will create the example. So let me create a model and migration for category and post. So in our previous example you can see here and in the same project we are going to create both model and migration. So let me go to my terminal and I will just call PHP artisan Mac model category and dash m so that will create a model and migration so hit enter and you can see that they have created model and migration over here let me go to my vs code editor and first of all i'm going to go to the masters category and here i'm going to just say column name shrink with name and then i will take slug okay just save it Okay, so there is a two columns I have added and now let me go here and the run migration php artisan migrate and you can see that that table is created on table plus so let me go here and just open my table plus okay and let me just refresh over here and hit refresh and you will see the categories table over here that's it okay and now let me go back and go to the model so they have created category model and here let me define the column name over here so just protected fillable and here inside the array we need to define the column name like this name and slug and just save it okay so this is the compulsory we need to follow because that way uh, like filament will follow so same way we are going to create another model and migration for post so let me go here and just php artisan mac model post dash m and they have created model and migration for it let me go here and inside the database migration post migration and here first of all i am going to add a column that's called string with title and then i will take string with slug okay and then i will take integer with uh, category id integer with category underscore id so that way we, i can make it relationship with category and post table and then i'm going to add another column is color i am taking more uh, column over here because that way later i can explain you all the elements of form and all the things and then i'm going to just add image like this and then i'm adding another is body okay and with text text uh, column okay and then i will add json field with text then i will add another column that is with boolean boolean with published okay and I'm getting another column that's with date published at so that way we can know about that like when it's published and inside the boolean I am going to set up like a default will be false okay something like that just save it so here is the column so let's double check title slug category color image body tags published and published at okay and just save it and let's run the migration so let me go here php artisan migrate and you can see that migration runs successfully and i have created re, uh, tables in mysql database and now let me go back to the model and you can see that they have created post so same what we did for uh, category we will create a, a protected fillable and here we are going to define the all the our columns so we already added title slug then we added the category underscore id and then we take you can make sure copy from here so you don't forget it but uh, yeah I, we already knows about that so that's why we don't have to worry okay let me close this yeah go back over here color and then body image and then published and another we take the published at and the last column will be tags 
okay so just save it so this is all the columns that we have uh, taken okay so let me double check with that like titles lock category color and all okay so yeah let me go back to the model and here we define all the columns but you can see that text has a we can see that there is a json data type and for published has a boolean and published at has a uh, date data type so we can use laravel cast and define the casting for it so just again protected and cast and here we are going to define the tags and tags will be we are going to give in array and receive in array okay so that's way and here we are going to add published published is the boolean data type so and then published at and published at is date data type so that's good okay so this is the our protected cast we have defined same way we have added the category so later we can use uh, like category data so we need to define the relationship for it so i'm going to just add function public function okay and then category and here you just need to return dollar this belongs to relationship with category class okay and just save it so this is the relationship we have added over here now what i'm going to do the next like we have created successfully migration and cedar i will create quickly the resource for category so later we can use it so let me go here and just let me clear php artisan mac filament resource and for category hit enter it is asking for material attribute i will just add name and no view page and also it's not going to read from the database column so i will just say no now let me go back to the vs code editor and if i go here inside the filament you can see that there is a separate folder created categories okay and you can see that category resource and they have taken automatically category module let me go back and just run the project over here let me create composer run dev and let me log into the user so slash admin login and click on sign in you can see that they have added another over here that's called categories and if i click on create there is a blank resource over here now let me go back to vs code editor and just schema and inside the category form i am going to add like text input colon colon mac for name and same way i am going to add text input colon colon mac for slug that's good just save it okay if i go back and just refresh it you can see that there is a name and slug i'm going to add like php and just php and click on create and if i go to the categories you can see that there is a one records display over here but let me go back to vs code editor go to the tables and here i'm going to add the column text column okay and just mac name and i will also add column mac for slug just save it okay and if i go back and just refresh you can see that there is a name and slug let me create another so i'm going to just say laravel laravel click on create you can see that let me create another and that's called python python and click on create and go back to the category so you can see that there is a easily uh, we have created a category resource so later we can use it as well so in this video we are going to just cover migration and model and just category resource so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create the forms element and use it so if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel see you in the next video guys